Now, the Center for Rights, Education and Awareness has won a round one in the ongoing battle over the two-thirds gender rule as stipulated in the Constitution. The High Court has given the Attorney General the Commission for the Implementation of the Constitution 40 days to prepare legislation on the two-thirds gender rule and have it ready for tabling in Parliament. Justice Mumbingugi delivered the ruling Friday as the AG's office was accused of dropping the ball on the issue. In a much-anticipated ruling, High Court Judge Mumbingugi hit out at both the Attorney General's office and the Commission for the Implementation of the Constitution, CIC. She cited what she called laxity and reluctance in preparing legislation that would ensure the two-thirds gender constitutional requirements. Its complaint centers on the failure of the AG and CIC to act in accordance with the requirements of Article 261.4, which provides that the AG, in consultation with CAC, court, shall prepare the relevant bills for tabling before Parliament as soon as reasonably practicable. She accused the state law office of waiting till the last minute to put in place mechanisms of drafting the bill. It is exactly two months to the August 27th constitutional deadline set out by a Supreme Court advisory opinion in December 2012. Justice Ngogi ruled that the AG and the CIC had violated their obligation of ensuring the bill was in place in good time. Equally bound are the respondents. The AG initiated the matter when it saw the advisory opinion of the Supreme Court, while the CIC was an active participant in the proceedings as an interested party. The Center for Rights, Education and Awareness had filed a petition accusing the AG and CIC of lacking the will to have the legislation ready. And the atmosphere outside the courtroom was a buzz with jubilation. This is what are, is called a landmark judgment. And a judgment which uh, has definitely secured the place of the new constitution in our republic. Justice Mobi Gogi has delivered a judgment that will speak volumes not only for women in politics but women in every other sphere of life. So as women, we finally begin to feel like part of this country. Parliament has also been put on the spotlight on the issue. The National Assembly Justice and Legal Affairs Committee Chairman Samuel Chapkonga has maintained he will not withdraw his bill that pushes for a progressive realization of the two-thirds gender rule which would delay its implementation. Uh, the Honorable Attorney General has the bill, so the court has given him 40 days, but I want to advise him that uh, let him file the bill latest next week. It seems like around one win by women fighting for political inclusion, but the National Assembly could still have the last word, given that Chipkonga's bill on extension has already gone through first reading. Ben Kitili, KTN.